Hello, hello. Uh, back with another video. It's not exactly what I wanted it to be because the Tandy keyboard has not arrived yet. As you can hear, the dogs in the background are saying hello. That's from Rupert and Grace. Um, but some pretty cool things uh, have come in so far this weekend. As you can see, uh, this will be explained in a little bit. And most importantly, this wonderful donation from Retro Tech Chris, which is a beautiful compact LTE 5100 uh, that is already dual booting Windows 3.1, 622, and Windows 95. Um, this one's really cool. I'm going to go into it here in a second. And but also for the Game Boy. I got F1 Race, and apparently this used to belong to somebody named Bobby Dixon. I imagine Bobby Dixon is probably around my age, and uh, thank you, Bobby, wherever you are. This was at the thrift store, so anyway, let's get into that notebook. Again, I really want to send a huge thanks to Retro Tech Chris for making this donation. This is a beautiful notebook and it's got 40 gigs of RAM in it. With it, Chris also included a Cisco Aeronet PCM CIA card. I'm trying to connect it to my network right now, but uh, I think I'm having some trouble with the 802.11.b also donated by him is a PCI network adapter. And this is heavy. A 250 gig hard drive. I don't know how old this thing is, but it's IDE. So I imagine it's probably fairly old and it's so heavy um, and for it to be 250 gigabytes, it's probably, uh, it was probably quite a luxurious product to have when it came out. On the laptop here. said it's pretty much a uh, Pentium 90 set up to dual boot. And let's go into DOS 622 and 3.1. No network support for now. Windows for work groups. I don't think it likes the, yeah, I know there's no networking functionality. The other day I was just thinking about Windows 3.11 and uh, is I bought one of those clocks from uh, uh, Neil at the RMC channel and it's hanging up in my office and it's really cool. But if you don't want Windows 3.1, you can always just reboot it and tell it to go straight into 95. I love hearing that floppy drive seek something you just don't hear very often anymore. And let's just hit Windows 95. And then I wanna look at the IO on this computer. 
because it's uh, very generous when it comes to its I.O. Very generous. There's all sorts of games and stuff that's on here. I didn't mean to do that. It's just F1 warp. I <laughs> can't. I don't want to warp, actually. Let's just play the game. But I detect some network doom in my not-too-distant future. The laptop's got stereo speakers, too. The sound is actually really, really good. So, as you would imagine, on a Pentium 90, it runs Doom amazingly well. Anyway, let's look at some of the I.O. And again, this was when notebooks, laptops were a lot more fun to work on. And here, I believe this is the... Uh, Hard disk bay, so it's easy to get to your hard drive. This next bay is for the battery, and I've got to rebuild the battery. He included a board that is supposed to help with the rebuilding a battery. Honestly, I have never, never rebuilt a laptop battery before. And that's, of course, the PCMCIA slot. I was confused for a second because I thought I had my wireless card in there, but I don't. There's a fan over here. And pardon me, but this is one-handed operation. PS2 keyboard or mouse port. Infrared. Yeah, I've never used an IR port. I bet there's some cool stuff you could do uh, with one of those. And it looks like this hooks up to a docking station. But you've got a serial port, parallel port, uh, what I believe to be the docking station port, and the VGA. So I am just super thrilled to have this. And I cannot give enough thanks out to Retro Tech Chris for donating this. Now, on to the cassette Tower of Power. <laughs> I found this today when I was at my storage building in the uh, free pile. And... It looks like most of these cassettes have never been used and they're likely brand new. There's a couple that are labeled with something, but most of them are just blank. So I couldn't just leave them around to get thrown away. I've got some uh, nice hi-fi equipment upstairs. I don't really use cassettes, but I would like some. I think I still have one cassette in the shrink wrap, but... V West Life or Techmoan would probably have more insightful things to say about these cassettes. I do not feign to be an expert on cassettes at all. Now let's just look at the splash screen, at least on the Game Boy game. Yeah, I definitely had this when I was a kid. <laughs> Where's the gas pedal? I'm gonna peel out. I just peeled out. <laughs> So anyway, that's it for right this second. I was hoping the Tandy keyboard would have come in so I can 
test it out on the 1000 TL2. But now I've got to, you can see the dogs have taken over, make everything messy. But this young man is asking to go outside and I don't want to keep him waiting any longer. So Rupert, tell everybody goodbye and thanks for watching. All right. Yeah. <laughs>